It's a hard question to say what is your particular leadership style. I would say that above all, I am an engineer at heart focused on delivering the right experiences for our stakeholders. I tend to think pretty much logically of breaking down a problem into its pieces. Where are we today? Where do we need to go? I try to be respectful of the folks that are on the other side of the discussion because really what's really important in all of this is just for us to deliver on our mission to helping our veterans, caregivers, and their families. People who work in, in the delivery and the development of products, they're obsessing all the time about how am I going to create something that end users really love and that really helps transform how they work. And I think that's one of the things that we need to drive a culture of in the VA, thinking not just about what's the next set of things we need to accomplish, but what is the end user experience? How do we really create end user delight for our veterans, their caregivers, their families? So it's a delight to actually use systems like VBMS or our health record system, like our financial system, making those delightful to use and a joy to use and actually making people effective at that. And so take, for instance, the PACT Act. We're going to get a lot more volume of claims of health care. What are the IT system requirements that we need? What are the end user support requirements that we need as well to respond? And we're going to get that on a continuous basis. And so the vision, the roadmap, the resource allocation needs to be dynamic. We're at the heart of delivering that experience to veterans. And I hope everybody in the team realizes that. It means we have such an opportunity to transform that experience and to make it better for all veterans, transforming their lives as a result. It's not about coming from the commercial sector and say, we're going to change everything that's going on. It's all about taking what I did learn in the commercial sector and saying, how can we use that to get even better in the VA? And I think the kind of the vision we've outlined along with the discipline around how we execute is going to allow us to do that. And so there are four elements to it. It's about being vision-led. It's about connecting our product plans and our delivery capabilities to that vision. It's about being really clear and transparent about how we're prioritizing resources against that. It's around operating with excellence so that you're efficient and effective at executing on your vision. It requires you to look at every case where things didn't go well. How is it a pattern of how we work that needs to change? We will be truly great at delivering these services and we will be introspective when we have problems. Turn the crank and get better at it over and over and over again. It's about security excellence because if you have a breach, you know, it is that sacred data of our veterans that we are defending and that's critical that we do a great job there. Those resources that our taxpayers have entrust to us, we will use all those as if they're our own and we'll also make sure that they're allocated against the most important priorities. It's about end user delight. That means, you know, veterans have come to experience through their consumer lives a great user experience that really helps them through the process. We need to deliver that to make them happy and successful and healthy as well. And then the final piece is around people excellence. I think that means having a diverse and inclusive workplace, a place where people feel supported, that they can express their points of view on a product without any, any fear. It's about being diverse in terms of representing the whole breadth of people that and characteristics that are veterans, their families, their caregivers. Um, and then it's about being very deliberate about understanding the career path for people in the VA, in OIT. I think we can be an on-ramp, particularly for veterans to join, and then I think we can be an off-ramp as people decide the next place they want to go. Either they can do that in the VA and OIT, or they can have successful careers elsewhere. But you're not going to get all of that unless you're super deliberate about thinking about your agenda on people. Well, I think in our industry, any time you talk about what the customer or the end user needs, it's a combination of the articulated need and the unarticulated need. The kind of alchemy, if you will, of creating great products is not to just to integrate that in, but also think about what is they're really trying to do? What are they trying to accomplish? Any successful product is a combination of the articulated need and moving that forward, and then figuring that innovation, that transformation, that acts on a new need and really delivers a new solution to them. I'm also a very big advocate of, of servant leadership. I feel like I can rise to the occasion because it's an important mission, but I'm just as happy for this success to come from everybody in our team, and it certainly doesn't have to come from me in particular.